Now let's take a look at our grinder. This is automatic grinder. You can control it by the control panels here. With all the buttons was written in English, it's easy for you to understand it. Now let's see how the machine works. Please look at here. This will be the feeding box and you can use all the raw materials by labor to put it inside here. The materials could be including with the rice chief, screw and other materials, for example cotton or uh, padded coins or something else. All the materials will follow this way to the materials about wood powders to buy it from furniture factories. Now please take a look at here. All the wood grinders will use vacuum system from the feeding box to the pre-grinders which will be here. The motors will be uh, running to supply the powers of the pre-grinders which will be uh, start grinding. And now the, final product, uh, the finished product will be thrown this way from this hose up into the machine and we use mobile for this pre-grinders is because it's up to our client's request, request. and uh, you can see we use soft hose and you can put the grinders anywhere as the customer request please follow me to this way from here you will see the product from the pre-grinders pre will flow from the hose up to there, up to there, and then it will go down from here to here. There will be a brush inside it, and there will be a net inside it, with the product reach to 80 mesh or 100 mesh, which uh, satisfied our request. Then. The materials will go behind these um, round bottles to the finished product line over here. Yeah. Then it will connect it here. You can see all the wood green wood powders will flow down from that pipe to here to the end products. Our machine capacity will reach 500 kilograms per hour mm, when it reach 60 moves. And we, our machine also can have the production capacity with 400 kilograms per hour at 80 moves and 300 kilograms per hour by 100 moves. You will have a question. Please follow back here. What you see? The pre-grinders product reach 100 moves, for example. The finished product will go like this way. But if it doesn't reach 100 mesh, what's not going on? From this brush and the net, if the wood, green, wood powder didn't reach 100 moves, then it will flow down from this way. You also can take a look inside. The not qualified wood powder will flow down from here to here. There will be two rollers running in different speed and then trying to grinder it. If it reach 100 moves, it will go up from behind of this part. Also will go to the end product. And if it's not reach it, then it will go up and to the part two. This part will use the same uh, structures as our previous one, and they will re-grind it, re-grind the wood powders to reach our um, qualifications. And please see here, this is the mobile one. It can run in by hand. So when you start to run in the machine, you can let it run by hand. 
and if you want to stop it, just to get it back, that's okay. This machine is our cutting machine, which has two functions. The first one, we can see this machine has two engines here. One, you can feed some of the small materials here, please see here. The diameters, if less than four millimeters, you can feed the materials from here, these engines. And if you have some big materials, for example, big wood, which is of course the diameter is over four millimeters, then you will feed it into these engines. All the machine was controlled by this control panel. Of course, you can read it by the English word here. It's easy to operate. The machines were feed the materials into this grinder and then you will reach uh, the finished product what goes from this way up to here. Then the grounded materials will follow down from here to this back and all the dust will go from this way up to this back. Okay.